So while doing a live stream, I was going over the material functions that are not exposed to the library. So not things that you generally come across. And I kind of want to show off the few that I went over that are actually quite interesting. So let's do that right now. Um, it's a bit of a mess. The check occlusion is actually quite interesting. I applied it on this character. I'm going to grab the floor. And at the moment it's um, occluded by an opaque mesh. It just basically flips a switch from 0 to 1. Or 1 to 0. And you can do some quite cool stuff with that. In this case I'm just doing some fun, fun things with it. Though in my case I d did disable... Uh, what is it? Disable death test. It's kind of sad that you cannot use this as a material thing, so you can enable disable it on the go. Because in combination with the check occlusion, you could really cool uh, highlight your character when it's behind the tree or whatever. But it might have some other cool, interesting potentials. But let's do some of the other ones. Um, gonna delete those. Nice. There's a, this tangent space flow map complex, which is actually not that complex, but it does have some cool effect. Uh, I'm going to set it to opaque for now and disable two sided. I'm just going to plug this into emissive. It has a simple acoustic texture and it's not your regular complex effect, you know, but it, uh, it's really cool. It's nice, clean, and smooth. Obviously, you can change this to one and one. Just your regular flow map thing. Okay, then there's another in space flow, which is basically a bit more like a regular flow map effect. You know, it slowly flates in itself with an offset, etc., etc. Nothing too super. Then there's another tangent space flow max complex that has multiple outputs, but it works a bit more like the regular flow map. And I just preview it as you can see. So, odd that there are th three that are totally different. Uh, convert uh, from this pack, and this is somewhat interesting. I'm not sure 100% what it does, but basically it takes a specular and a texture sample. Uh, I'll cut the normal so it looks better. And you can use the base color, of course, from there. Metallic into that. Specular there. Let's use this for the roughness and a normal map for the normal. And I should stop previewing, of course. And you just get your regular rough thing. Though, obviously, you shouldn't use the metal probably for this, but it does look nice and clean. So I'm not sure why I did hit that one. Uh, let's see. This one was quite or corrected pixel depth offset value. Depending on the angle, it just changes some values, but I mean, it doesn't look like much like this, but if I apply it on a mesh, let's apply it on the floor here. Uh, that's not possible, probably. There we go. And it's just like a depth fade, that kind of thing. So you could have a lot more detail close by and less detail further away or whatever you want to use for it. Uh, okay, a few more. Um, this one I actually really liked. Texture bump, single sample, parallax occlusion mapping. And plug this into the base color of course and the normals into the normal. It already looks quite great, though there's still the roughness maps and whatever. I don't really have those available in this texture thing. But we can quickly use it like this, I guess. It's a bit on the heavy side on instructions, but it does look quite nice. 
uh, really sharp foamy thingy, just like you expect from product, product solution map. And yeah. So, not sure why they didn't expose that one. It's probably fun to play with. A bit high on the instructions, though you can probably optimize the material uh, function a little bit. It's quite old inside of the function. I mean, I bet you can just, even if you just change this texture sample to a shared, you already save some instructions, that kind of thing, you know? And then the same with uh, a lot more stuff that's inside of here. This needs to be cleaned up. I'm not sure why they never did. Future level switch, yada yada yada. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, this one is a bit odd. I like the result, that's why I kept it, but it's a bit of an old beast. It's called Texture Defined Specular Shape. Aligns the highlighted shape of the, to the reflected light. I have no idea how to properly set it up, but this was the result I had. Let me plug it in like this and also plug in the normal. You have something that looks like this. The lighting doesn't have any effect of it, of course, though you might be able to change some things. I just picked a random texture. Depending on this texture, there are some changes in the highlights. Uh, let me apply it on the box. Get something like this. It's quite cool. If I replace the normal map with a vector, then you can see that the hard texture is somewhere in there. Okay. So that was quite interesting. And there were uh, tiling dots in case you ever want a procedural grade effect or whatever. Emissive uh, color. And basically just does this. But it's a bit, a bit high on the instructions and there's a lot of things going on. Tiling a box filtered. Compute filter with, and inside of that, there's another function that does the tiling a line integral, and in that, there's all if nodes and whatever. So, in this case, you might be better off with a texture, but still fun to have. And then, yeah, that was the check for occlusion and the composite ARGB layer, which is also somewhat interesting. Not something super duper, but Let's say you have two textures and both have an alpha channel to mask out some parts. And you combine them. One is on the top and one is on the bottom and you plug it in. Then you get this. So this texture is now placed on top. That one is placed on the bottom. And this is the result. It's kind of weird that they don't have an actual opacity mask for that because that would make a bit more sense, you know? I mean, the alpha and the alpha should have a add, I guess. Something probably a bit like that. Let's see if that works. Not sure why it's not in there, but. Uh, opacity mask and then must. But yeah, okay. Those are the ones that I went over that were interesting and actually working. So if you see any of the notes that are quite interesting, play around with them and let me know what results that you have or found out something that I didn't because I'm not the best at math and that kind of stuff, but all right, take care.